so we got a big decision to make here. Um, everybody we've been passing on the trail today has been talking about this huge storm coming. Um, we checked our own Garmin, um, checked the weather on it, and the forecast shows about three inches of, of rain. Sorry, I blew a mosquito off my nose. Um, we can't get to our original exit point where we were gonna resupply um, before the storm hits, and it would be over some major passes um, which would become really dangerous. The rivers are already flooded and it's just gonna flood even worse. Um, so we found a side trail uh, that goes over Sawmill Pass. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit, uh, go over that pass and exit before tomorrow afternoon when that storm uh, starts to hit us. Um, we can't wait it out in the woods because we ran out of well, we will run out of food before that happens, before the storm's over. Um, so unfortunately, we just gotta make our exit. We're still exiting to the town of Independence, and then that's where we're gonna get our resupply for our last section of the trail. Let's go over Kearsarge Pass, back onto the trail, and keep heading south. Yeah, it's gonna start raining tomorrow afternoon and then continue for the next two days. It's gonna get really cold and really wet, so we would really be thoroughly soaked and freezing and probably want to be able to get warm at night yeah. um, which could become really dangerous especially when you're still a couple days away from civilization yeah which is a little bit of a bummer but at the end of the day it's better to say hey we bailed and we were able to finish the last leg between right. kearsarge to whitney then to say yeah. We got hyped with Maria and we can't finish it at all. All right, we're at the top of Sawmill Pass. Um, this is our exit point for now. We found out that this storm is actually a hurricane, Hurricane Hillary. So it's a really good thing that we're getting off the trail as soon as we can. Um, it's going to start up this afternoon, which is about the same time we're going to be still exiting the trail. So uh, we're going to be on the desert side of the Sierras. It might just still dump on us which could be dangerous a lot of flooding we were a little bit concerned about this trail coming up because so the trail wasn't maintained the first couple miles were really boggy and hard to follow uh we have eight miles down and we're dropping about six thousand feet down to the trailhead hopefully it's uh, easy to follow trail but we did get a shuttle to come pick us up so we know that there will be a car down there to get us from this um very remote remote trail <laughs> yeah nobody uses this trail it, it's impossible to get a hitch there so we made sure that we 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 used our satellite phone um reached out to a shuttle driver in the region uh and he confirmed that he could pick us up you know when nature does its thing a hurricane goes through you gotta get out you gotta make other plans and stay safe so now we get to see the very deserty eastern side of the sierras that'll be fun we're fully in the desert now. Uh, we just survived an hour and a half long hailstorm, and we are still only, we still have several miles down uh, out of uh, Sawmill Pass. So we're getting close, but these storms are getting pretty wild. some bad news guys we have to leave the trail and go home there's like mudslides two miles away from us forecasted today 20 inches of snow on the passes and the peaks that we gotta go over we just we don't have the gear for it we're not prepared it's been it's wildly different than the weather we've had so far so we're just not able to to finish the trail with what we have. The Sheriff's Department issued a, a flash flood warning showing that it, it is marked as extreme flash flooding and they haven't had that in maybe 50 years here in this county. So we gotta go home, back to civilization, back to our lives. Something we've been doing for three weeks and we were so close uh, to finishing. Yeah, we made it to a mile 165. Yeah. 
of 210. Um, so coming into this, we knew that it was going to potentially be uh, the most challenging year to do this trail, especially for our first times on the trail. Um, and we know it was already a challenging, challenging trail in regular years. So, um, yeah. Sucks. Sucks a lot. <laughs>